This is a discussion about a few common surfaces that come up in both maths 203 and 392. Let's start with the paraboloid to see a very simple kind of surface. It's described by z equal x squared plus y squared. Now if we use just that equation then we would be getting an infinite surface because for every possible value of x and y you'd get a z value and that means the surface would be infinite in the same way that the xy plane is an infinite flat surface. In order to get something viewable we restrict what x and y are allowed to look like. Now for the first example let's say that x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 9 that means that x and the point xy is in a disk of radius 3. Well, you can't see that disk here, but let's actually plot the surface. All right, we get a nice view. It's a curve. It's a bowl. You know, that's what a paraboloid looks like. Here's an X scale and a Y scale that happen to be positioned on top. And Z is along the side. So these, remember, are not axes. These are just scales. You need a little work to figure out that, for instance, this line down here would be the x-axis and this line over here would be the y-axis. Let's not worry about that. But you see that the paraboloid is a bowl. And you can get different views by twisting the picture. But if you want to get a top view, you would kind of fiddle a little and then you have to kind of rotate this to see that the top view of the paraboloid is a disk. An easier way to actually do that is just to manually change the viewpoint. And you see a perfect disk of radius 3 as the top view. If you want to get back your bowl, you twist and you see that it grew a little, but let's not worry about that. Okay, what if you want something a little more sophisticated? Just change the region in the XY plane which is allowed to generate points on the surface. So for instance, if I say that x squared plus y squared should be between 1 and 9, if you would look at that in the top view, what you will see is a ring that's contained between circles of radius 1 and 3. Because when you set x squared plus y squared equal 1, you get a circle of radius 1. When you set x squared plus y squared equal 9, you get a circle of radius 3. And in addition, of course, because x squared plus y squared is between 1 and 9, you get all intermediate circles and they kind of stack together to give this band. If you now look at a more reasonable perspective, you see that what you have is the same paraboloid as before, but it has a piece chopped off at the bottom. What if you change the equation a little? Instead of saying z equal x squared plus y squared, say z is the square root of x squared plus y squared. And if we sketch that, oh look, we're still getting the same top view. And that's because we didn't change the allowed values for the point xy. The point xy is still on the ring that lies between a circle of radius 1 and a circle of radius 3. When we tilt this to see the surface, however, we see that the edges became straight. And that's because, for instance, without going into huge detail, if you would try to sketch the view of this surface by looking in the xz plane. You would do that by setting y equals 0. You would get z equals square root of x squared. And the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x. And that's if you would actually sketch z equal absolute value of x. You get two straight lines. And you see those lines over here. This is z equal x and z equal minus x. The scale is a little off. And these should be diagonal lines, but that to get it like that would require um, technical revisions in what's called the box ratios. But that's good enough for now. Top view, side view, 
extent, of course, if you go back to saying that just plain old x squared plus y squared less than or equal to 9, the hole disappears. And when you look at your picture, you see a nice cone. Please remember that when you say that z is the square root of x squared plus y squared, you're talking about z being positive. That's why you see a, um, a cone in which z is positive. If you wanted to really be sketching z equal z squared equals x squared plus y squared to get the full double cone, we can do that by separately sketching z equals the square root of x squared plus y squared and z equals minus the square root of x squared plus y squared in the same region. If you look at the top view, no surprise you get a disk, but if you look at the side view, you now get a double cone.